Well, hey there, everybody out in YouTube land. It's Embrace the Matrix, and this is another painting with another voiceover. And as you can see by the title, and possibly the picture, this one's a little different, but the same. Um, I had this idea a little while. Um, I, I just, uh, it just kind of came to me. I don't know. I got some crayons for my kid and we were trying to teach him he's only 19 months but I was trying to show him how to just you know rub a crayon on paper and all he wanted to do was eat the crayons but um, I don't know I think at that point it came to me I was like I, I want to like like splatter some paint on a canvas and then make it look like it's crayons that are like bleeding on the canvas you know so this is the result of that actually this is take two I did another one that I actually even posted a picture of I might have deleted it but I did another one that I still have that I'm just gonna trash um, that just didn't come out right at all it's just I, I had to do too much touch up on it and I didn't I didn't want to do that I literally did not want to touch the canvas with paint um, besides the background which I painted gray but I didn't want to, I just wanted to get, you know, slam some paint on it and let it just go where it went. Um, but I wanted to have, make sure the paint, the different colors, you know, kept themselves together. So, you know, if you had a bunch of separate spots of like white, it wouldn't make sense that the crayon's bleeding, but it's not, you know, there's separate spots. So, nonetheless, um, like, see right there. Look, when I flicked that, I had that separate spot there. And I go, son of a bitch, it needs to connect. It needs to all be one blob of paint. Fortunately, we have more paint, and we can fix it. So, um, yeah, so I, I sling a little more paint on it and kind of fix it up here in a second. Um... But I don't know. I've I've showed it to a couple of people, and they thought it was pretty cool. Um, just like the first one I did, I took the wrappers off the crayons, and then it just looked like wax cylinders sticking out of the camera. It just didn't look great. Um, so yeah, so this all dried up, and you know, I just you know made sure uh, it all looked good and. There wasn't nothing else going on here, and um, now it's just trying to figure out, you know, which way I want it to be, and obviously this is makes the most sense. And um, all I did was really just like press the crayon up there to give me a place to cut, and I cut a smaller, much smaller hole than the diameter of the crayon. I actually sped this part up because it's not that exciting. Uh, but nonetheless, and then it's, you know, we must penetrate the canvas with the crayon. Um, so, I actually, you know, because this is, you know, this is, you know, I'd like to say this is thinking man's art, but it's not really. It's just, <laughs> it's just paint thrown on a canvas with some crayon sticking out of the canvas. But, I did take into consideration that you know there's less red paint on the canvas than say white so we need to make sure that the red crayon isn't sh as short as the say white crayon because obviously the red crayon you know hasn't bled as much as say the white um, so this isn't obviously final this is just me like lining it up and you know I, I I was having some trouble with the white because this is a one and a half inch or whatever canvas, you know, gallery wrap. Um, I think it's eight by eight, eight by eight or ten by ten. Uh, I can't. I think it's a ten by ten. Um, so you know, the I have to like kind of push it at an angle. Um, and then I was like, well, that stinks. But I knew I was gonna cut it down anyways, the white one. So it 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 made sense, you know, in the end once I uh, 
chopped it down. So we, uh, we cut it and we stick it. But yeah, I don't know. I, I'd really like to know what people think about this. I got only a couple photos. I mean, it's tough taking a nice high def straight on photo because you don't really see it. This is definitely the kind of painting um, creation that you need to see in person. So, you know, let me know when you want to come by and check it out. You know, I live in, uh, you know, northeastern Ohio. Um, I mean, you're ever in town, just, um, you know, shoot me a message and come by and you can check it out. Um, I'm usually always here. But anyways, um, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think what more I can say about this other than I think it's really cool. Uh, there's, you know, I think there's a, there's a little more underlying meaning to it if you can figure it out that makes you the better person um, but nonetheless you know so okay so we got them set height wise and the only way I could think of to secure them makes sense is hot glue you gotta love hot glue so this is kinda like a multimedia I guess you'd say project maybe um, cuz I'm definitely using more than just paint I don't know what you would call it 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 is what it is it's not certainly not my typical creation and it was just something I had in my head. I, I think it's cool. And if nobody wants to buy it, it's going to, you know, get varnished and sit on my wall. And I think once it gets varnished, it's going to look even better. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's going to be for sale. So anybody that's interested, it uh, will be for sale very soon on my site. Um, but nonetheless, and believe me, it looks way cooler in person. And it's only, like I said, a 10 by 10 inch. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this thing turned out really neat, a little bit different. I haven't seen it done. I'm sure it might have, have been, has been. Here's the one kind of close up side shot I took. And then you have the front shot, which see with the front shot, you can't really see them as well. Um, but you know what's going on. You got the video. So yeah, I just wanted to make this little quick video guys for this Saturday, December 3rd. I want you guys to have a nice uh, nice weekend, and please like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you in the next video.